Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a K2 Disruption TI2 for you today. And for my money, one of the most fun on-trail carving skis out there today. Uh, this thing is an absolute blast. One of the reasons that it's so fun is because K2 doesn't have a race department that they're using to base their front side skis off of. So a lot of other companies that have a race department they are able to kind of take their race shapes and builds and bump them down a level, make them more accessible. Uh, K2 went with a ground up technology and method and just kind of started at the bottom and said, all right, what do we want for a front side carving ski? Uh, and at the top end of that discussion, they landed on this TI2. Uh, really, really strong, super stable, uh, and one of the most fun and rewarding carving experiences from just an on-trail perspective that, that we've had. Uh, they do start and use their aspen wood core, and then they bolster that with two sheets of metal in their Titanal I-beam. Uh, really does a nice job at smoothing out and, and stabilizing the ski. So whereas the other TI models have one layer of metal, uh, in this zone here, full width underfoot, tapers to a central spine in the tail. Uh, this ski has two of them, uh, pretty burly, very, de very much kind of has that race-like feel to it, uh, just a slightly different character. They also have their power wall sidewall underfoot, so a denser ABS material. Um, you're getting a marker piston plate on this ski as well as uh, I, I believe they're still including the XL12 in with this deal. So you're getting a real race binding as well. Uh, and then they also add their dark matter damping. So we see this material on the other disruption skis, helps uh, absorb vibrations in the tips and the tails. Uh, goes a long way, especially with that metal. And then kind of the, the bigger story here is that longer turn radius. So this is the 182. 71 millimeters underfoot and a 22.3 meter turn radius. So it's a straight shooter for sure. Um, you know, I skied this length here and really, really enjoyed it. I thought it fit really well with kind of skiing with the contours of the trail, letting the thing run, and just overall having a blast and keeping the, the ski on edge. Incredible confidence uh, in terms of edge grip, power, and stability. Um, just a tiny bit of tip rocker there, uh, you know, squared off shovel. Compared to the other disruptions, this one's narrower overall. Really kind of gives you that race GS-like feel where you're just kind of on um, a narrow, more traditionally shaped ski. And then tiny bit of tail rocker. I think the rocker's helpful in this ski because it's so stiff that it's hard to properly initiate and complete a turn. Um, if you're not a full-on racer. So very minimal, squared off tail, super long effective edge, uh, leads to that long turn radius. And it's just incredibly rewarding to uh, have the ski kind of adhere to that radius and you use the full cut of the ski to make those clean and round arcs. With that 71 millimeter underfoot, there is kind of a balance point you gotta learn. Um, so it's not like right out of the box, super intuitive, but once you get it, uh, this is about as fun as it gets out there from a front side and carving perspective while not being uh, you know, based off of a race ski. So make sure you check out this super unique K2 Disruption TI2 here at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.